You ever think about just killing him? I mean, no. Could at least consider it. No. Just weigh the pros and cons. No. Why don't you consider all options? Yeah, not like murder. Yeah, sure, it's outside the box, but you can only get so far thinking how everyone else thinks. Look at Steve Jobs. What? I'm just going off what you're giving me. It's a cost-benefit analysis. Seems like you could generate a lot of benefit for a lot of people. Except I'd spend the rest of my life in jail. Why are you assuming you get caught? Look, that's better. Yes, I know it. I'm being foolish. Actually, that might not even be fake. It is. No, look, those are real tears. She's just using the technique. The what? Come on, fix your face. We'll get down to Eddie's and have a drink. I mean, maybe she actually fell in love with the actor. And they're fucking between takes, and it's the last week of shooting, so... She knows she has to return home to her loveless 1940s marriage and... The technique. Holy shit. Yeah. You can just do that on cue? Years of practice. Can you teach me? I think we should do it. Really? Really? And you're looking at me? Only because you're the only person here. I do think you'd be good at it, though. I mean, the kind of composure you should with... Hey! Hey! Amanda! Amanda, where are you going? I don't know why you're saying all this now. I think you might be saying it because you're emotional. Why am I emotional? I don't know. You just never really tell me anything about your life. That's not true. And that doesn't stop you from asking me to kill someone for you. That's not what I'm asking. You do realize that I am the very worst person to do this. I'm awaiting trial for animal cruelty. If anything violent happens anywhere near me, I am the first person they will come okay, after. Okay, I get that. If we were going to do this, we would both need to be far away with airtight alibis. How'd you find me? Asked around. Yes. That is so unprofessional. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't normally make a sale under these circumstances. Good thing you need the business. I don't need the business. Okay. Th this is a temporary gig. Fun. I have had to hustle for everything that I have. You don't know where I come from. Westchester. If you have no idea, give me five, max, 10 years, I will be running this game. All up the coast, I will be the guy. Yeah, a creepy friend. I know. We have a business proposition for you. I'm being foolish. It's the worst fake crying I've ever seen. She's just using the technique. The what? The technique. Holy <clears throat> Uh, Amanda, this is my stepdad, Mark. How long are you here, Amanda? My mom's gonna pick me up around midnight. Midnight's late for us. I'll call your mom. She can come pick you up now. She's busy. Doing what? Chemotherapy. I don't have any feelings, ever. And that doesn't necessarily make me a bad person. It just means I have to work a little harder to be good. I'm sending you to boarding school. After that, you're off my payroll. You hate him. You despise him. Honey. 
<laughs> you can't go in looking like that. I'm fine. Let me just... I'm not going to have to stand here all day like a robot repeating myself. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. You ever think about just killing him? How would you? What the hell is he even doing here? I am providing you all with early drug experiences that you will forever cherish. Who the hell are you? <laughs> we have a business proposition for you. You got a gun? Yes, I have a gun. You don't know where I come from. Westchester. The man. You have no idea. I didn't think you'd bring it here. You want to hold it? No, thanks. Anyway, you cannot hesitate. The only thing worse than being incompetent or being unkind or being evil is being indecisive. Okay. Shall we? What am I going to tell my dad? Wear a hat. We're keeping this, by the way. Hey, Vali here. So, are you a big movie fan? Well, stay with me as I have some cool random facts for you. Due to a miscommunication on set in The Hateful Eight, Kurt Russell accidentally smashed an antique guitar from 1870 instead of a prop. The dog who played Toto in The Wizard of Oz received a higher salary than most of the people who played Munchkins. And lastly, Michael Caine was so terrified of Heath Ledger's Joker in The Dark Knight that he forgot his lines in the first scene they shot together. Do you know any other cool facts? Let me know below. And remember, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Bye bye!